Hey guys, it's me, Travis, with BetCarmen.com, showcasing some new additions to the already super popular bet tracker on our website. So, if you already have an account, something we released uh, over a month ago, the automation side of things, if you already have an account uh, and you bet on, you know, DraftKings or BetMGM, Caesars, BetRivers, any of those books like that, um, you already have had the ability to sync your sportsbook accounts to BetCarmen.com's bet tracker. Uh, just by linking them together one time, and it will automatically pull in all of your bet history, and it will show you, uh, you know, your, your win-loss, all kinds of stat data. Um, it'll break it down by sport as well, parlays on top of that. So that's already, that's kind of how it, this tool became so popular, because it had the automation side. We had a lot of people saying, well, I don't have, I don't bet on any of those books. Maybe you bet on, you know, offshore books, or, or you know, Uncle Lenny down the street, what, what have you, and you want to be able to log those bets and track those with our awesome... Uh, stats record keeping that we have well we have some good news for you we just launched this second the manual bet tracker i'm going to show you how it works and we're going to log some bets together here so let's get right to it if you create a free account so this is free to use the bet tracker is free to use the automated bet tracker is free to use getting an account on bet karma is also free zero dollars it's just worth it to track all your data especially if you're betting across multiple books um, and, or you just want to see, you know, the, the breakdown, the analytics of your bet history, uh, which is something the sports books don't give you. So let's uh, look at this right here. I'm logged into the betkarma.com account, and there's nothing right now on my completed tab. So, this, so the default shows the completed. You see here we have stats, pending, completed. So pending is all of the bets that you've put in that haven't completed yet. And then once they are completed with the win-loss, push, void, whatever the result is, that'll show up and completed. And then stats... Right here is where you see, you know, how you did yesterday on profit, the last seven days, the last 30, the last, you know, all time. And then we specifically highlight parlays over the last 30 as well. And then you can also pick, uh, you can also drop down by sports. If you want to see, you know, how, if you're betting on, uh, you know, NBA, MLB, NFL, multiple different uh, sports all at the same time, this little drop down menu here will show you, okay, let's look at the last seven record across all of those different leagues and it'll spit out um le uh, league by league data as opposed to these just being the collective and if you do still have those automated accounts or uh, sports books where we have automated accounts already built all you have to do here is click this button where it says connect your sports books and then that'll bring up the the window it'll say like okay what state are you in so let's just say you're in new jersey and you bet on DraftKings. well okay click here to sync your DraftKings sportsbook account and then it'll just pull in all the data and all of this stuff here once it pulls in your history, everything you see here on the stats page will be populating with all of your DraftKings data. Now, let's say you're in New Jersey and you have DraftKings and, uh, you know, BetMGM and Caesar Sportsbook. So you have three different ones, which is always most optimal to have multiple books. You can do the line shopping, which is the whole reason we have these comparison tools up here to make sure you make more money when you place the, the bets, um, which we have other videos for that on this channel. But let's just say you sync a DraftKings Sportsbook account to be automated, your Caesars and your BetMGM. You can sync all three of those to the same uh, BetKarma.com account. It'll show you history here that pulls in all of those sports books. So all of your bet history across all those books will be displayed here. It'll say, okay, so across those three books, if you haven't done anything else besides sync those books, you know this is this is what you did yesterday across all those three books, and this is what you did over you know NBA and MLB in the last seven days across all those books. So we're and we're going to be adding more visual data as well, more tools as we continue to build this and as we continue to grow, which of course has been at a rapid rate since we started dropping these things. Um, but uh, but that's that's a video we've already made. We've already made the video on how to sync, how to create the automation, how to you know see all the display stuff. Now we're going to go through and show you guys how this brand new feature, where if you don't have a sports book that's part of the automation, which we have a lot of them, but if you if you bet on a book that is not part of the automation system we've had for a month now. This is how you add it and have it part of your stats record keeping and have it part of your completed, um, you know, entire bet bet history here. So let's go ahead and just track a bet here. So one of the bets um, that a lot of us jumped on earlier today uh, with our SPF predictor tool, which is part of our Bet Karma Premium. If you do anything on Price Picks or Monkey Knife Fight, we have a tool that predicts uh, outcomes based on our algorithms and it highlights edges and everything. Uh, there was definitely somebody that was incredibly mispriced on. Um, on price picks earlier this morning it was uh guardians uh quantrill i believe his pronunciation is and also jose Quinti uh, quintana quintana i have no idea anyway 
Quintana. I'm pretty sure Quintana. Who knows? But anyway, they're very mispriced, and so we're going to go ahead and log that play in here. Now, that's the part I want to get to. If you bet on a, diff a sportsbook that's not syncable, you can track that bet. We've also built the first ever prize picks tracker, Monkey Knife Fight tracker, and Underdog Fantasy tracker for you guys that do the fantasy or the... Uh, the, the SPF props, which we call it SPF, that stands for single player fantasy. That's the industry that Monkey Knife Fight, Price Picks, and Underdog Fantasy kind of put themselves into. So if you have tickets on that and you want it to be part of your stats, stats record, we've also built that in, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, actually, well, let's just do that right now. So we're gonna click Track a Bet, and the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna click the leagues. So right now, we've built in for the manual tracking side, MLB and NBA uh, bets and props. So let's just say for that particular one that we used on the SPF predictor uh, that everybody jumped on and, and uh, all of our premium subs jumped on earlier today when we saw it was incredibly mispriced, we're going to go ahead and try to log that one right now. So click on player props. All right, so the first player was uh, Quintana with the Pirates. Uh, so we're going to click on that. Then we're going to choose player. We're going to go through this list here, Jose Quintana. Choose player props. It, the strikeouts is what we were going for. Now, choose sportsbook. Of course, you can do, you can bet on strikeouts on anything, um, but you can choose. If you choose a sportsbook that's syncable, it'll tell you once you select it. But I'll show you here in a second. So, if I click on DraftKings sportsbook, it'll it'll just go directly to sync your DraftKings sportsbook account. So, it'll tell you if you did bet on DraftKings sportsbook. It's easier if you just sync your account uh, to the automation, so you don't have to go through and log everything. But if you didn't do uh, Caesars, let's or DraftKings. If you did something that's not trackable, whether it's um, uh, we got FanDuel on there, we have you know uh, Betway, Borgata, WinBet, Twinspires, they have all this stuff. So if it's FanDuel, FanDuel's not currently uh, hundred percent uh, automated yet. So that is something that you would still have to do the manual on. But if, like you see here at the bottom, Price Picks, Monkey Knight Fight, Underdog, we have those options as well that we've added. With like I said, this is the first time an SPF. Uh, bet tracker has been created now let's say you have a book that's not yet any of these these are all all of our partners here um, and then all of our our prop partners as well if you have somebody that's not on that list all you gotta do is click other that's it and then you can do the exact same thing it'll just be registered under other but for this particular one i'm gonna show you guys how the price picks work because you can kind of already guesstimate how it works on the other books um well, let's just show you that anyway so fanduel let's say i did over the line was i think it was 2.5 and if you if you had FanDuel, uh, I don't know, let's just say 110. So you type in the line, which is 2.5. We already had said it was strikeouts. Jose Quintana, this is the game. This is the date. This is everything. This is the book I put it on. I did over 2.5. The odds were minus 110. Um, and then you do how much did you bet on it? Okay, I bet 100 bucks on it. And then we'll automatically populate the two win here. So then I click add to bet slip. And then it will add it to my bet slip, which will show up right underneath this. And then if you have nothing else to add, if it wasn't a parlay, you, then you just click the, the next orange button that pops up and that'll submit it to a pending bet on your tracked bets. But if you did this particular prop and another bet and you created a parlay, then you then it will save that one. And then you go up to the top and you fill in the other one, click add to bet slip and you just keep doing it. So if you have a 10 pick parlay, then you can just keep adding them to the bet slip. They'll all add on that list underneath this orange button here. And then you click the final submit button that'll appear right below that. And then boom, you have your, your, your 10 pick parlay. Like I said, for this example, I'm gonna show you on price picks how it works. So price picks, we're gonna say over, under, strikeouts. The line for, uh, I believe the one we got earlier, let me double check there. He was 3.5. So, and he, of course, I've already, he already crushed that by the time I started recording this. He's well beyond that. Um, so this is the first one I'm gonna add. So click add to bet slip. So you see right here, where Jose Quintana over three strikeouts has been added. In theory, if you did this on FanDuel Sportsbook and you typed in the odds and everything like that, you would just click submit bet and that's your single one. But of course on prize picks on Monkey Knife Fight Underdog, you have to have at least two, um, at least two props to be able to submit it. So like, okay, so that was the first one we did. And then we're gonna go to the second one, which was uh, Guardians pitcher Quantrill over 2.5 strikeouts which was way underpriced. That was definitely uh, a an error on their end, but we had a lot of guys get it. Let's see. Cleveland Guardians, choose player. Cal, strikeouts. Uh, did I miss it? Where's strikeouts at? Oh, there we go. 
strikeouts, choose outcome over. His line was only 2.5 and I click add to bet slip. And then you see here, both of those props, oops, both of those props are added to bet slip. Now, if we only did this two pick, which in theory we did, we have to type in the multiplier. So the multiplier for price picks, if you do two, typically it's three X. They do flux. Sometimes they update it like, hey, we're gonna do a 3.5 X two pick today where they change things. So if you're doing the bet tracker for monkey knife fight price picks or underdog fantasy just make sure you double check that the multiplier of what you just did um is accurate so if you did a two pick if it's three which is typically the average just type in three that's all you have to type in just the multiplier if it's you know 3.5 or 2.58 whatever it is just type that in there that is the multiplier and then your risk so let's say we put a hundred dollars on this two pick a monkey knife um sorry on prize picks and uh and then these were the two props. So it's a, it was a 3x multiplier, 100 bucks. And so the two win is 300. We click submit bet. And then that's all you have to do. And then it gets added right here, as you see, to your um, to your pending slip. So once this gets processed, this automatically will register as a win or loss. Uh, even if you didn't sync your price picks account, because we don't have that feature yet. It'll say this was a 3x multiplier. You risked 100 bucks on it. Uh, you have a chance to win $300, two pick parlay. It'll show you the logo here for prize picks and it'll show you what it was. And then once it becomes completed, which you see here, this pending bet we had uh, at the beginning of recording, um, we just that we used for testing, it'll show up here. Okay, did you win? Did you lose it? What what was the game? Oh, Atlanta money line. Uh, what was the odds? Because this was a FanDuel logged bet here. And that's simply how it works. And so once that goes here, you go to stats and you see I know this literally just happened while we're recording. It went from, this bet here went from pending to completed, because this was a bet we just used for testing, uh, which was two days ago. And you see here, it'll show you, you know, the last seven days, your 010, the last 30, all time, NBA, it'll re register it as being an NBA bet, your 010, and this is your profit and your ROI. So I'm glad that actually happened while we're recording so you guys can actually see it populate there. But that's how it works. So after this game, after, well, this was an early game. So after the Cleveland game's over with, uh, later in the night or early tomorrow morning, you'll see when you go to check this, you'll see it in completed and you'll be able to see everything right here. So this, so this will show you, the stats will show you if you're betting on a sports book and you're also playing one of these props, it'll intertwine everything to kind of see what, how you're doing for NBA, for MLB, all the other things. So we have a, um, an NBA bet here. We have an MLB bet here, or you know, for prize picks. So once that prize picks once finishes, if it's a win, it'll show MLB right below NBA, at, right below this NBA line, and it'll be part of all of your winnings here. So we have an amazing bet tracker, manual. If you don't have a book that's syncable, which you can go to your betkarma.com account right now, you can either click on my account or click on bet tracker up here in the top left, and then just click on connect your sports books. Choose your state, and it'll show you all of the books that you can you can automate, which of course makes things easier. Hopefully, down the line we can create it where, well, not hopefully, but we're going to create it where we're going to have more sports books automated, and, and then hopefully, we're going to be able to work with our partners at Underdog, Monkey Knife, and Price Picks, so you can actually sync those accounts, so we can automatically pull that data as well. Uh, but until then, it's manual entry, but it's something we worked really hard on, and the fact that we can automate everything after you enter a bet, it's a pretty good deal. So if you have any questions on how to use this, just let me know in the comments or, of course, in our Discord. If you are not in the betting Discord yet, we are dropping free plays every single day. Literally every day across multiple sports. Just go to betkarmachat.com, and that'll give you the instant invite into our sports betting Discord uh, and our DFS Discord as well, which are merged into one. Uh, but it's pretty exciting. I, I'm, I, This took us a long time to do because there's a lot of in, inner, in, inner data things to make sure that it saved the bet and to make sure that process the bet is a win-loss, all of those other things. But uh, I'm super excited about this, and I hope you guys are as well. Please give me feedback. I don't care if it's positive, negative. Of course, I care if it's positive or negative, but I don't uh, I don't want you to not give us negative feedback. If, you, if there's something here that you're like, I don't really like this or this, give us all that. The last thing I want to mention that I have not mentioned yet, I mentioned on the previous video a month ago when we first told you about the automation, we have this share button right here. So when you click on this share button, It'll, uh, it'll populate, it'll see, it's just like copy to clipboard. It'll populate a link that you can share on social media um, and it'll bring people to this particular bet. So, and, and it won't like give them your account information or anything like that. It'll just say, hey, I just locked in a two pick parley on prize picks. Um, 
and you know with, with the potential to win you know 300 and then you, if they click on that link it'll say it was a two pick prize picks parlay uh strikeouts over 3.5 for this guy over 2.5 this so instead of you just saying hey i just did this on prize picks you can actually show them that you're actually um you know tracking everything uh which is a huge deal there's too many people out there that aren't tracking anything and once it's a win as well uh the losses don't have a share because not too many people want to share bad beats or losses in general uh which is something we can add if you guys want to have that but the share button will also pop up for everything that's a win. And the same thing, you can show, just share the link uh, or the image that populates there. You can share that on social media and it'll just say, I won a, you know, I won a two pick parlay or I won this bet and I'll have all the data there that you put into your um, your entry. It'll automatically populate that image, uh, a dynamically generated image it'll create based on the, uh, the data in that bet slip. But yeah, super excited for it. Hope you are as well. Feedback, greatly appreciated. And uh, we have a lot of cool things coming relatively soon we're always we're in a 24 7 365 uh dev dev grind if you will we're always working on new tools so i'll i'll see you guys next time give me some feedback and enjoy the tracking of your bets thanks guys